Good day. Today I want to introduce you to a spreadsheet program called RCC H1 Foundation Parts. It is used for design of part footings to BS H110 1997. Any cell you see in blue is where you can enter data. We have several sections to make it easy for you to input your data. For instance, the first one is the material section where we can input uh, various parameters. For instance, the strength of the concrete, FCU, FY, the strength of the steel, uh, the densities of concrete, the bearing pressure of the soil, the cover to reinforcement, and of course the factor of safety for the steel and the concrete. Uh, in the second section we can input the dimensions. Actually uh, this spreadsheet program can do a um, what if analysis. So you can start by picking a base that you think will work and um, once you input your ba the, the dimensions of the uh, part footing and including the, col the column dimensions if uh, your design will be valid, you will be shown in the status valid design. The software can also suggest um, dimensions for you. For instance, when you look at this section here, base size suggestion, you can see that um, in this design, the program actually suggested uh, a column base. Under column reactions, we can input our loadings the dead load, the imposed load, and the wind load. You may be asking, I mean, how do I calculate my column takedown? Uh, depending on the number of floors that you have, you can calculate the load acting on the column, the slab load and the beam load acting on the column by doing a very simple um, symmetry analysis using area method. Or you can do column takedown if you are very good at moment uh, distribution and the advantage of uh, uh, moment distribution is that you can also be able to determine the column moment in the MX and MY directions. So, but then there, there is also a software that can help you to calculate a column takedown and it's called RCC51. I will provide the download link in the video's description. So RCC11 is basically to do a column takedown of the load and uh, moments. So you can see that even this program can handle up to uh, seven levels. So and it's very very easy to use. So once you are able to input the span, uh, the depth of the column, and you are able to enter these data accurately. It will give you the various uh, cumulative loads of the column from the top column to the you know foundation level and also as well as uh, the moment acting in the about the x axis and about the y axis of the uh, column so, as, so now i'm going back to rcc foundation parts 8 1 if our parameters are not adequate errors will uh, develop so for instance, let's say now I want one of the dimensions to be 1000. So when I'm typing 1000, uh, when I click on enter, uh, we see that uh, the program tells us that this status fails. And then it goes on to give us a suggestion for suggested base uh, dimensions. So let's try 2000 times um, 3590. So let's say now, um, the length is uh, 3590, 3590, and the breadth is uh, 2000. And when we click on enter, we get a valid design now. The program can also do a combined footing. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel.